All right, so now what I want to do is show you how to draw Lewis dot structures in the preferred structure without having to use math. Sound good? I like it. It's just a visual representation of the valence electrons and how they're going to bond together. So for our guidelines for writing this type of Lewis dot structure, first we know that hydrogen only forms one bond. So it's always going to be on the outside of a molecule. And it has one valence electron. It's in group 1A, so it has one valence electron. So the Lewis dot structure for the hydrogen atom is shown here. And it's going to want to always form one bond. So now this hydrogen atom will feel like it has two electrons if it shares another electron with another atom, say another hydrogen atom this hydrogen has two electrons that's happy it's isoelectronic to helium which is a noble gas this hydrogen here has two electrons it's happy it's got its duet carbon always wants to form four bonds and we can remember this looking at the Lewis dot structure for carbon there's one two three four valence electrons if it were to pick up four more by sharing, so if it formed four bonds, now this carbon has the eight electrons, two in each bond, so two, four, six, eight electrons. Carbon's happy, so when carbon bonds, it wants to form four bonds. It can be in the form of four single bonds or A double bond and two single bonds or a single bond and a triple bond. Again the triple bond <laughs> is one, two, three, four, five, six electrons, seven, eight. Each one of those carbons has its happy valence of eight electrons. So the compounds that you'll find in nature that contain carbon are called organic compounds and they most often have these four single bonds or a double bond and two single bonds or a single bond and a triple bond. Again, four bonds around that central carbon. There are exceptions to that rule. They're called carbocations and carbanions, but let's not talk about those. That's, that's for organic chemistry later. So the next thing that you need to know is oxygen. What's its Lewis dot structure? It's got six valence electrons because it's in group 6A so there are two four five six valence electrons drawn around the oxygen symbol showing you those six valence electrons oxygen wants to pick up two electrons so when it's covalently bonding to something else it will form with two bonds and two lone pairs remember this right here is called a lone pair It could form two single bonds or a double bond and two lone pairs. And these are the common arrangements of oxygen. Because again, this oxygen has two, four, six, eight, eight valence electrons, makes it happy. So hydrogen wants to form one bond. It will be found on the outside of a molecule. You're not going to see hydrogen on the inside because that would mean that the hydrogen would have two bonds and hydrogen can't form two bonds. It can only form one bond. Carbon will want to form these four bonds. Oxygen wants to form two bonds and then there would be two lone pairs giving it its valence of eight. Now let's look at nitrogen. Nitrogen has the atomic symbol N and it's in group 5A so there's one two, three, four, five valence electrons drawn around the nitrogen atom. And as you see, it's got the five valence electrons. It wants to pick up three more valence electrons. To get that octet rule, eight electrons to make it stable. So nitrogen has two, four, six, eight valence electrons when it forms three bonds. So it could be in the form of three single bonds or 
a single bond and a double bond in a lone pair or a nitrogen with a lone pair and a triple bond. Again, it's still that nitrogen in most compounds will have three bonds and then it will have one lone pair if it's neutral. So nitrogen usually forms three bonds. Now let's look at halogens. Halogens, remember, are group 7A of the periodic table and they're often symbolized with the letter X. It just means it could be a chlorine, a fluorine, a bromine, any one of those halogens. We'll symbolize that with an X and they have seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. So that halogen wants to pick up one electron. If it can't do it by an ionic bond where it's just completely transferred, it will share. If it shares the valence electron, it will then form this one covalent bond and now it feels like it has the eight valence electrons. Two, four, six, eight. So halogens will have three, typically have three lone pairs and one bond. So let's work some examples. Oh wait, before we